do 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 what am I having for dinner tonight? I am going to have steak. And I'm going to have sauteed onions and a baked baked tater. My taters are already baked. Baked them earlier. So we're gonna add a little heat here. Gonna add a little heat, get that one going. That's gotta get washed. And we're gonna add some butter in there. Lots of butter, copious amounts of butter here because uh, we're going to fry a steak and that requires a goodly amount of butter so we have enough to to bathe to bathe the steak and we're going to be making onions here so we're going to need some butter uh, so I'll tell you the onions so look at that Paula Dean's got nothing on me man I have got butter central going on now let those two heat up. Well, that's heating up. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my uh, my onion. Get it ready. Do 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 do. My favorite knife. Handle broke off of it, and uh, I just fixed it yesterday. I epoxied a new handle. Well, I epoxied the old handle back to it. This one rivet held, that rivet and that rivet are both gone. I mean, they're there, but they're broken in the middle. Oh, that one's not there. And uh, just use a little epoxy. Two port epoxy, mix it together. And actually, the thing I bought mixed it automatically for me, so it was pretty simple. All right, sauteed onions, real simple. You cut them all the way through, except you need that to hold it together. See, so you go right up to that, but not all the way through. Not all the way through. Now, take those buds off, stem, and now I've got onion that I can saute. There's that. Put the heat on to them. I'm going to start them up slowly. But the steak, steak rooney we're going to get him going. All righty. And we're just going to lay him out. Chuck steak. Chuck. Good old Charles. Charlie Chuck steak there. All right. We're going to give him a minute. And see now what we'll do is we'll tilt this down. And we'll do that. Are we recording over here? I can't tell if we're recording or not. Nope. Oh, I can get both of them like that. Cool. Cool. Of course, that's going to steam up, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to put the butter. Okay, we got to turn this down a little bit. This burner on this stove is really funky, guys. It goes from from off to super hot and off all by itself. See, I need more butter in there. I don't have any basting liquid. I need more butter, if you can imagine. This is very wasteful of butter doing this. But it makes for an awesome steak. It really makes for a good steak. Yeah, see now I have some juice here. I can... Got something I can flip there. And you just do this. You just keep... Just keep basting, man. You just keep basting. Now, I'd like to get a little flavoring in there. Oh! garlic I'm out of garlic I got to get some groceries I got to get some groceries got to order in some groceries because I'm out of garlic crumble up those lumps that were in there yeah well a little bit left I'll save that for another day just in case and then 
I'm gonna put a little salt on the onions. That's, and I'm gonna salt the steak too. There we go. My steak has been assaulted. I assaulted my steak. Yeah, see how it's going now? That's what we want to see going on. That's exactly what we want to see going on. Yeah, I tilt the, I tilt the pan. So I get all my base down here. Beautiful, look at that. This gives it this lovely nuttiness to the meat. Just really good. You just do a whole lot of that. That's not going to take long. That steak's halfway cooked already. Get these onions shook up. Sometimes I don't quite cut through enough. Let's kick a little bit more heat up on the onions. They're on a small burner. You know, I should use my back burner. I've not used my back burner, but I can't see them in the camera there, so I'll use that one. I'll use that one. Let's turn him over. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Yeah, see, he's almost done. He is almost done. In fact, I'm only gonna give him a minute or so and I'm going to call that good, move him to the plate, and let him rest. And then we'll move these onions over to the bigger burner to get them finished up real quick. Plates, don't you love my plates? I have two. <laughs> I got to buy, I got to buy some plates, friends. I only have two, two plates to my name. Just me. How many plates do I need? I only need one at a time. No, I got to get some set, some more plates set up. My uh, my family lives real close by, and now look at this lovely table and chairs that Charlie gave me. My neighbor here, beautiful set. So now I can go ahead and invite my my kids over. I have some. Yeah, that's done. Have some place for them to sit. And, uh, oh, that's good. Yummy. Take that off the heat. Put that on the heat there. Done with that spoon. Just get some color into them. <clears throat> that's all she wrote, man. Give some color into them onions. <coughs> okay, what am I gonna drink? I'm gonna drink a beer. I'm going. I'm actually. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a double. I'm gonna have a double beer tonight. You know, I do a double beer. I get one. I get two. Look at that, all them vegetables in my in my fridge. I like. I got two beers. I got a two beer beer glass. Some diet I'm on, huh? Steak, sauteed onions, baked potato. And I'm still losing weight. That's a want a beer. Getting too much head on this. I'm not doing a very good job of pouring here. Not doing a very good job at all. All right. Oh, did a good job of pouring that. Uh-oh. Getting a bit too much color. There we go. Yeah, those are looking looking good in the neighborhood, man. Looking good in the neighborhood. That steak's resting, getting some nice juice out of it. Still, see the juice is still red coming out of that. That tells me it's gonna be 
seared on the outside, nice and juicy. Probably about medium, probably about medium cooked all the way through. <coughs> These onions are almost there. Let's kill the heat. Kill the heat. So many people finish cooking and turn their stove off. You waste electricity. <clears throat> Look at that flame up. Flamage. Man, I had a lot of flamage the other day. I was frying chicken, had a hell of a fire in here. Baking soda. Put it right out. All right, let's turn that off. Shut that. That camera's now off. Let go in my pocket. These can go on my steaky. Look at the loveliness there, huh? And now I'm going to grab me a tater. I baked up a few of them. I just need one. I'm going to set him off over there. Now I need a fork. Got my pocket. Steak knife. There we go. Put him in my pocket. Probably going to want a little butter for my baked potato. I'm probably going to want some sour cream for my baked potato too. <clears throat> I think I have sour cream. Put that in my other pocket. Because I'm going to have my hands full. And go to my office. There we have it. There we have it, guys. Chuck steak, sautéed onions, mm -hmm. baked potato. Fine, fine dining, if there ever was some. So, a little bit of mukbang this evening. A little bit of mukbang. Look at that. That's, that's cooked perfectly. All the way through. Get a little onion on there. And... That's just so incredibly good. Just so incredibly good. And you know, from a diet standpoint, this would be a keto type diet, uh, except for the potato, obviously. Uh, onions, no carbs, and uh, oh, get out of here, flat. And a steak, you know, just about all protein. So, and it's cooked perfectly. It's got just a little bit of pink on the inside, outside. Spot on. Mm. Absolutely spot on. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Huh? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, actually, on mukbang, I'm supposed to whisper. With whispering, is I got the air conditioning on because it's 92 degrees outside, so I got to talk. Mm -hmm. I should get up and happy dance. This is so good, so good. Really juicy. Got a wonderful char on the outside by frying it in the cast iron and then tossing it with the. But look at that. <clears throat> look at how juicy that is inside. Look how juicy that is inside. I mean, it's just incredible. Super tender. Completely cooked. Yum, yum, yum.
Cheers, Captain. I'm sorry, I don't care who you are. Steak, sauteed onions, baked potato, the beer, fine dining in anybody's book. Mm. All right. My potato's getting soggy because there's so much juice coming out of the steak. <clears throat> Probably could have Maybe could have cooked the steak a little bit slower, a little bit more to you know done, so it wouldn't be putting out so much juice. But I'm thrilled with it, just exactly where it is. So I'm gonna get a little butter to go in my potato. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of sour cream. Look at my fanciness here, my sour cream container. And that should just pop a little bit out. Nope, I guess not. Oh. I'll be helped if I opened it up. <clears throat> Apparently it's not open. That's right, I had one of these before and I finished it. Got my garbage can over there. There we go. Now we can get some sour cream out. I forgot I had to open a new one here. A little little turd of <laughs> little turd of sour cream on there and Crispy baked potato skin, butter, sour cream. Mm. Fancy, fancy napkins, huh? Fancy, fancy napkins. You know, just the, the, the totality of the meal. You know, the, the steak and the potato go well with each other. The onion on top of the steak is a great topping. Another great topping that I like to have on steak is uh, to, to julienne some radish. Get like some of the French uh, breakfast radishes because they, they've got a nice, uh, whoop, got a little potato on there. They've got a nice shape to them, nice and long. And then I put those through a grater and julienne them into sticks. And then saute that like you would an onion. And uh, that's another, another really good way of putting a topping on the steak is with the, the, the sauteed radish. <clears throat> Especially if you do them, um, I put them on a cast iron skillet and put them in the grill. They get some of that smokiness to them, really nice. Mm -hmm. Little baked potatoes, not very big. Those are almost cooking potato size, not a baking potato size. Um, Oh man, guys, it doesn't get any better than this. I'm sorry. Mm. Now, talking about my diet, did my live stream Sunday, yesterday, and uh, 509 pounds. I was 527 a month ago. I'm at 509. I've been losing four pounds a week up until last week. I only lost two pounds last week. But last Sunday, I ordered uh, 20 chicken wings. And I had 20 chicken wings for dinner. And I think that really messed up my... Um, it really kind of sidetracked me. It, it, my entire system was sort of askew from that because it's been accustomed to me eating very little and certainly not a ton of that, you know, uh, fatty greasy. And then all of a sudden to be bombed with that, uh, my system didn't appreciate it much. And that was reflected in the weight retention, so. Mm. 
This, on the other hand, I'll research this and put it in while I'm editing. Uh, give you a calorie count on what this is looking like. Um, the steak wasn't a full pound; it was about 12 ounces because um, it's you know it's pretty thin. So. Hmm. And it is chuck. It is chuck. It's a good quality chuck. I mean, sometimes chuck can be really, uh, you know, have a lot of sinew and, and cartilage and kind of that stuff in there. Uh, this one's been pretty good and has a pretty nice marbling in it, actually. Um, I, would, I would equate this to um, a decent New York strip or, or some of the lesser parts of a ribeye. Got a real strong flavor profile, though. I mean, it's about as beefy as you can get beef. So. I really like this method of cooking when I do uh, steak. Almost. Almost prefer it to being on a charcoal grill. Now I do prefer it over a gas grill, but charcoal adds a certain amount, a certain genus of quality you just can't touch. You know that open flame and the smokiness and. Um, but you know, if you're lazy and it's hot outside and you want to stay inside your air-conditioned house, you saute a, a black iron cast iron steak with some butter and you, you get this pretty darn good mm -mm 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 -mm. poor dog sitting here right next to me listening to me go on and on about how good the steak is and I can just tell from the look in her face I won't look at her because that'll make her hopeful. But she's just wanting, waiting for me to die. I, once I finish the steak, I'll give her all the juice and stuff on the plate. She'll enjoy that. But I'm going to eat my steak. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think, I don't know, I think I may upload this to two of my channels. I think I'm going to put this up in my, in my regular Grandpa's Farm channel and also on my ASMR channel. And the reason why I'm going to do both channels, I think, is because um, I want to build the ASMR channel up so it could become a more profitable center for me. But right now, my homesteading channel is... is monetized and nothing else is. And I need every penny I can get. And who knows, maybe maybe I'll convert some of those folks to muckbangers. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Oh man, oh man, oh man. That's just so good. It really is. I may have put just a tad, I was a little heavy handed on the salt, guys. Just a tad heavy on the salt. Probably could have used just a little bit less because I put salt on the beef and I put it on the onions. I should have just put it on the onions and not on the steak, too. Uh oh. Getting hit with a lot of salt. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Man, this is like juice. Fine steak. Fine steak. I don't care who you are. That chuck steak is as good as eating a piece of beef as anything.
the only better piece of beef as far as I'm concerned than what I'm eating right now would be to do a whole bone-in standing rib roast. You know, where you, you, you roast it whole in the oven and you, you salt the, you get the layer of fat on the back, you salt that. That is yummy, yummy, yummy. But man, this is no slouch. Almost done, guys. Three or four more pieces, I'll be done. Mm. That's just so good. So good. much onion on there as I can get. I'm wearing my slop shirt. <laughs> I don't mind if I spill a little oil on it. Comes out pretty good in the wash. Mmm. Right, that's it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Oh gosh, that's so good. So good. Now this here, I'll uh, pull my little napkin like that, put my utensils on it. And then this, I hold down over the side But it's someone special. Come on. Doggy mukbang. There you go. <laughs> Can you see all that? Got two cameras going here. <clears throat> There you go. Uh, in our family, we call this the pre-wash cycle. <laughs> the canine pre-wash cycle. She'll uh, she'll clean every little bit up off of that plate. And then she'll check the floor to see what little bits may have fallen. She'll get them too. Every little bit. She's actually so effective at this that if people didn't know better, they would grab that plate thinking it was a clean plate. I don't let them. I put it in the sink and wash it real quick. But <coughs> I did have the occasion one time that a family member tried to grab one of the plates, and uh, not a family member, a friend, tried to grab one of the plates, and I, I had no, 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 that one's not clean. <laughs> All right, is that enough? I get the floor. See that? Look at that. <laughs> All right, you got it all? All right, guys. Well, that uh, that's going to be a wrap, I think. Put you guys, turn you guys back up. I got both cameras on me now. There you go. Uh, that's going to be a wrap, kids. That's a little uh, steak with sautéed onions, baked potato, uh, diet, diet mukbang. Ha! How to eat well and lose weight all at the same time. So, Anyhow, kids, I hope you enjoyed that. Please do like and subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up. Give us, lot, give us two or three thumbs up if you can. Ha, <laughs> ha! Uh, most importantly though, please do, please, please, please do share our videos with friends of yours on social media so we can build up our, our audience. I would really appreciate that. But in the meantime, kids, be good, be careful, take good care of one another, and we'll have more for you here in the near future. Good night, kids. Have a good day.